Hello folks, welcome to the first episode of Gold in the East, brought to you by Dee Dee's Problem Solving Help. Need a Dee Dee? She's a problem solving sweetie. And horseshoes, etc. Our horseshoes are the best. Our story begins in 1849 on a steep hillside in California. Wow, this is a lot of gold we found in the hole by that big old oak tree. I wonder how it got there. Yeah, that is kind of weird. I hope we didn't just steal someone else's gold. Who cares? You know that saying, finders, keepers, losers, weepers. Let's carry it up the hill. Why don't we use the baby carriage? Are you kidding? It's baby Matthew's carriage, not your personal gold-carrying buggy. Do you know how rich this will make us, Stacy? We could get a mansion. Go, dogs. Why? thousand acres of land. We could even get a fountain. Okay, don't get ahead of yourself, Malcolm. First, we have to get food for baby Matthew. <coughs> but I am so excited. We are going to be rich. Where should we put it? How about the big dead aspen tree at the top of the hill? Then we can go get some more. We have to keep it safe, you know, so people won't steal it. Let's put it in the baby carriage with Matthew so we can keep all our prized possessions safe. Screw on, Matthew. Daddy's going to put the gold beside you. Do you like that gold, baby? Do you like shiny gold? A little gold for our little golden baby. Whatever. Let's get some more. What's that noise? It was almost like a growl. Quick, hide the gold! Crazy? What about Matthew? Fine, I'll hold Matthew while you hide, but we have to save the gold! Can you stop thinking about gold? We should stay together! I saw a wolf! Can't you just fight them off? Ah! One bit me! One's right behind me! Then smack it with your purse! Stacy! That'll just make it bad! They're already mad! Run! Shut up, Matthew! Matthew? Oh my gosh, we forgot Matthew! Just run! No, not Matthew! Come on, Stacy! Save yourself! Malcolm James Jones, I am not leaving my baby! Put me down! No, not Matthew! Why? He's just a baby! No! And now a word from our sponsor. Goldie's Gold Polishing. If you have rusty, dusty gold, all chipped up because it's old, call Goldie's Gold Polishing. She'll lend you a hand, and it will no more be covered in sand. $35 to polish each piece, and it will be sparkling without any grease. Soon after the wolves left, the notorious gold thief Susanna Wilkerson and her henchman Greasy Jim came down the very same path. We should have spaghetti for lunch by that spruce tree. It's an oak tree and I want pancakes. Spruce tree? And spaghetti is so much better than pancakes. Pancakes are so good and I already have maple syrup. It's an oak tree. No, it's not. I took a tree identification class in college. I'm sure it's a spruce tree. It's for sure an oak tree. Look, it... Wait, is that a baby carriage? That is a baby carriage, greasy Jim. Why would someone leave a baby carriage where there's been a wolf fight, though? That's a good question, Susanna. But what is that shiny stuff with the baby? That's four million dollars worth of gold, Greasy Jim. Four million dollars to make my life better. Shouldn't she be worrying about the baby and not the gold? It's not ours. The baby's not ours either, and it's not worth four million dollars. Still, it's a living thing. Gold can survive on its own. It doesn't even need to eat. This baby needs food before it starves. We don't have food to give. We need it for ourselves. We can spare a little bit for the baby. No, we can't. I'm hungry for spaghetti. Ow! That kid threw a gold nugget at me. How about we take the baby to an orphanage? Then it'll get food and be warm. Whatever. I just want the gold. It's all mine. Help me carry it, Jim. <sighs> Sorry, little fella, but I gotta carry all our gold. I'll see you later. We are not coming back later. 
We have to be sneaky. Quit dropping stuff! Do I have to do everything myself? Come on, hurry up. I'm coming, just calm down. Don't tell me to calm down. Oh, just relax then. Stop talking! And now a word from our sponsor. If your prized horse needs new shoes, be sure to come to Horseshoes Etc. Because our horseshoes are the best. We also have tack, hair extensions, and even sparkly hoof polish. Our horseshoes are the best. Susanna and Greasy Jim have left poor Matthew alone in the baby carriage. The sheriff comes down the dusty path. I don't understand how Andrew Johnson's cows keep escaping. I fixed that lock at least four times this week. What's that noise? Sounds like a baby. Is that a carriage on top of that hill? That must be where the noise is coming from. Who would be this irresponsible? This poor baby. What is this hill? So tall. <laughs> the top. Now what's the problem, little one? Oh, why is your blanket so sparkly? You're awfully light for your size. I bet you're real hungry. I'll take you old Mrs. Jones' house after I take a closer look at your carriage. That looks like gold dust. That's what happened here, little one. Ow, what'd you hit me with? Well, I'll be. Is that a gold nugget? That came out of your mouth. So gold dust and a gold nugget. I bet there was a lot of gold here at some point. Well, I gotta go see what to do with you now. I'll just take the carriage with me and look at it later. And now a word from Deity's Problem Solving Help. If you need Deity's help with a simple or complex problem, she'll be right there. Charge is $2 per hour. Be sure to call Deity's Problem Solving Help for any of your problems. Need a Deity? She's a problem solving sweetie. I'm going to need that help. Hey, Diddy. What is it, Sheriff? I need your help with this case. I found this carriage with gold remains and a baby. Hmm, that is pretty tricky. Let me see the baby. Do you have any idea where this baby is from? From an irresponsible parent, probably. Did you look for any clues? That's a good idea. Hmm. Hey, look! I found a baby bottle, a blanket that says Matthew, a purse, and a hat. Hey, Matthew. Is this your pretty blankie? Yes, it is. Is it? Is it? Where are your parents, little one? Sheriff, there's a big greasy stain on this hat. Huh? Oh, that. You don't like that hat, do you, Matthew? No, we don't. No, we don't. Sheriff! Here in the hat band, it says, Jim! Oh, is that a hat on a cat on a flat mat? No, it isn't. No, it isn't. A greasy spot in Jim. Greasy spot in Jim. It could only be... Greasy Jim! What did you say? Greasy Jim? Yes! I did. He's the biggest henchman in the entire state. Yeah, and where well, you'll find him, you'll find Susanna Wilkerson! Oh my gosh. Hey, wait a second. There's a Spruthicus Deathicus rock in here. Those rocks are only found in one place. They must be going to. Tarantula Peak! Uh, I've got to go. Let me come! Let me come! You know I'm, like, terrific at finding clues. This is no place for you. Stay here with baby Matthew. And now a word from our sponsor. New iPhone out now! Get yours in advance! 158 years from now. Limited supplies only. $14.76 plus tax. Comes with free shipping. Dee Dee, very disappointed that she didn't get to go, takes baby Matthew to Old Miss Jones' orphanage. Meanwhile, the sheriff goes out to Tarantula Peak. He finds Susanna Wilkerson and Greasy Jim. I still feel bad about leaving the baby. Can you stop thinking about that dumb baby? Hey, Susanna. If you keep talking about that baby, you're gonna get it! Susanna, it's not the baby, it's... it's the sheriff. What?! Why is he here? Well, well, well. What do we have here? What do you want? 
Where's that gold? How'd you figure that out? You can't even lock a jail cell. Well, uh... Yes, tell us, Sheriff. How did you figure it out? I had a little help from Diddy. Diddy's problem-solving help. If you need Diddy's help with a simple or complex problem, she'll be right there. Charge is $2 per hour. Be sure to call Diddy's problem-solving help for any of your problems. Need a Diddy? She's a problem-solving sweetie. Problem-solving sweetie? I knew you couldn't figure it out yourself. You needed some help from a sixth grader. Well, I don't think you're too bright yourself, getting caught by a third grader. Guys, don't think you- Stop talking. Anything I can do to help? Yeah, Jim. Take the golden run. Meet me later at our hideout. I'll finish off this baby bozo. What did you just call me? You heard me! Baby bozo. Na -na 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 -na. That does it. Little Red. <laughs> <Not too bad. sighs> Little Red. Baby bozo. Little Red. Baby bozo. Well, I'll just take my share of the gold and leave you guys to it. Goodbye, Baby Bonzo and Little. Ah! Greasy Jim. No, Suzanne, help me rescue him. Just let him go. It serves him right. Only thinking of a baby instead of me. I get more gold. I get more gold. No! My gold! Suzanne, no. Give me your hand. No! I'll drop the gold! Give me your hand. You'll fall if you don't. That gold's no use to you if you're dead. Leave me alone. It's mine, and I'm taking it with me. Don't be silly. Let go. Never! No, Suzanne, the plan wasn't supposed to start for another week. Whatever did the sheriff mean? Will baby Matthew ever see his parents again? Is Susanna lost forever? Find out next time on Gold in the East. Can't someone take care of a baby? At least this one has an exciting story. Not the old basket on the step routine again. Come on, baby Matthew, let's go get some food, and we'll meet the rest of the children. Gold in the East was written by the Hillsdale Middle School Drama Club. Stacy was played by Evelyn Woodley. Malcolm was voiced by William Llewellyn. Cadence Henderson Schneider played the part of Susanna Wilkerson. Nick Wright had the part of Greasy Jim. Ben Lever played the sheriff. Diddy Jones was played by Sarah Llewellyn. Old Mrs. Jones was voiced by Olivia Burgess. The play was narrated by Valerie Robinault, and sound effects were supplied by Landon Rains. We hope you all enjoyed Gold in the East.